Hello my grade 7 students, welcome to our 4th quarter PE lesson. And our most essential learning competencies for this lesson are Describes the nature and background of dance Analyze the effects of exercise and physical activity participation on fitness And the last one, keeps the importance of winning and losing this video class will help you discover and analyze how festival dances play an essential role in developing one's personal fitness as we continue to nurture and promote our own culture. After going through this video, you are expected to identify the meaning and nature of local Philippine festival dances, differentiate festival dances that have religious influences and non-religious influences, Appreciate festival dances as part of the Filipino culture by accomplishing the given activities. So now, before we proceed with our lesson, let's have first our activity 1. In the previous lesson, you have learned about folk dance. You probably know that folk dance refers to the dances created and performed collectively by the ordinary people. From the preceding topic, the folk dance tinikling was introduced and explained to you. Can you recall some of the things from the topic? Now, identify the correct term. You need to read and understand the given description and arrange the jumbled letters. Are you ready? Number 1. A popular folk dance from Visayan Islands and came from the word tikling. Number 2. This dance is a favorite in the Visayan Islands, especially in the province. Number three, the girls wear this costume in Tinikling dance. Number four, Tinikling came from the word blank, a bird with long neck and long legs. Five, this used as a pole in dancing Tinikling. This usually comes in pair. So, I guess now you're done with your answer. Now let's proceed with our topic, the nature of festival dances. We have first, the cultural festival with religious influences. Religious festival dance. These are dances characterized by movements showing reverence to a religious icon believed to have interceded in their personal life. The Philippines, where majority of its people are Catholics, celebrate fiestas pompously and with so much giddy. To them, this celebration is an expression of thanksgiving for a bountiful harvest and for a favor or request granted to them through divine intercession. The following are some of these dances. One example of the festival with religious influence is the Ati Atihan Festival. The Ati Atihan Festival is a feast held annually in January in honor of the Santo Niño or the Infant Jesus, concluding on the third Sunday in the island and town of Calibuaklan in the Philippines. The name Ati Atihan means to be like Atas or make believe Atis. Atas were the primary settlers in the islands according to history books. They too are the earliest settlers of Panay Island where the province of Aklan is situated. The festival consists of tribal dance, music accompanied by indigenous costumes and weapons, and parade along the street. Christians and non-Christians observe this day with religious processions. 
It has inspired many other Philippine festivals including Sinulog Festival of Cebu and Dinagyang of Iloilo, both adaptations of Ati Atihan Festival. The second festival dance with religious influence is the Moriones Festival. Moriones is an annual festival held on Holy Week on the island of Marinduque, Philippines. The Moriones are men and women in costumes and masks replicating the garb of biblical Roman soldiers as interpreted by local folks. The Moriones or Moriunan tradition has inspired the creation of other festivals in the Philippines where cultural practices or folk history is turned into street festivals. The participants use Moriun mask to depict the Roman soldiers and Syrian mercenaries within the story of the Passion of the Christ. The mask was named after the 16th and 17th century Moriun helmet. The Moriunis refers to the mask and costume penitents who march around the town for seven days searching for Lunginus. This is a folk religious festival that reenacts the story of Saint Lunginus, a Roman centurion who was blind in one eye. This week-long celebration starts on Holy Week and Monday. The third example of the festival which has a religious influence is the Dinagyang Festival. The Dinagyang is a religious and cultural festival in Iloilo City, Philippines held on the fourth Sunday of January, or right after the Sinulog in Cebu and Atiatihan in Aklan. It is held both to honor the Santo Nino and to celebrate the arrival of Panay of Malay settlers and the subsequent selling of the island to them by the Atis. Next is the Sinulog Festival. The famous Sinulog Festival of Cebu City is held every year of the third Sunday of January. The festival is characterized by a very long parade with many groups of persons dressed in colorful costumes, finding their way through the streets while dancing the Sinulog. To distinguish the festival from the popular Ati Atihan, this festival is characterized by a different dance. The Sinulug dance is now the traditional and ritual dance in honor of the Santo Nino. The dance is accompanied by the sound of the drums. The Sinulug was danced by the locals in honor of their wooden statues in the period before the Cebuanos were baptized. Later on, after the image of the famous Santo Nino was brought to Cebu and the Catholic faith was established in the region, the dance was made a part of the yearly fiesta in honor of the Santo Nino. Another festival which is a religious festival is the Feast of Our Lady of Pina Francia. The Feast of Our Lady of Pina Francia is celebrated on the third Sunday of September in Naga City, Bicol. The feast day is preceded by a novena. Nine days of prayer in honor of the Virgin on the first day. The image of the Virgin, a copy of Bandona in Pina Francia, Spain, is brought from its shrine to the Naga Cathedral where the novena is held. On the last day, the image is returned to a shrine following the Naga River Road. Thousands of candles from devotees in boats escorting the image light, the colorful evening position. When the barge reaches its destination, the devotees shout, Viva la Virgin! Long live the Virgin! And the image is brought back in the procession to the cathedral. The last festival which has the religious influence is the Pahiyas Festival, one of the country's biggest and most colorful harvest festival every May 15th in Lokban, Quezon, along with the harvest festivals of the towns of Tayabas, Seria, Gumaca, and Tiaung. These are the Philippines' known harvest festivals to honor San Isidro Labrador, the patron saint of farmers, known as the Pahiyas. The festival is deeply rooted in the traditional celebration of the town's folk in thanksgiving for bounty harvest, decorations called keeping, a leaf-shaped and multi